Hello everyone man, welcome back to the channel man. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get two free 87s overall for free uh, from the Unstoppable promo. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to get Derrick Henry, which I have over here powered up all the way guys. Uh, the Derrick Henry stuff is gonna be last because it's like kind of old news. Uh, I'm just gonna put it out there for the people that didn't know already. So as you guys can see here, I have my fantasy pack where I can pick myself up uh, any 80, 87 overall. Just come on. So, this is the pack that I got. I can pick any one of these guys right here, and they are going to be nats. Okay, guys, all of these guys are going to be nats. So now let's go back. So I'm going to show you guys where I got them from. Boom. So all you gotta do is come to the foot pass, guys. The foot pass. You gotta learn how to operate it, and you gotta learn how to do certain things with it. So right here, guys. As you guys can see, boom. I'm in the wrong foot pass. We gotta go down to the unstoppable field pass right here. As you guys can see, I am completely done with this uh, promo. Uh, as you guys can see here, uh, once you reach level 10, you're gonna get yourself an 87 of all bond to the bind. You're gonna get yourself an 84 or an 81. That's how you get the first 87. And then how you get the second one is by coming to the field pass again and going to competitive. Um, once you go to competitive, you're gonna go click on to the foot pass, you're gonna go to rewards. As you guys can see here, you're gonna get a 87 of wall compass play. Uh you're gonna get where is he? You're gonna get an 87 of wall unstoppable fantasy pack. That is the second free 87 of all guys. Um how you should how you should use these packs is basically like like me. I have uh Jimmy Graham online in my lineup, which he's a Seahawks, he's, he's helping out my theme too. I had bought him for 120k. So now what I do is I'm gonna take him off. I'm gonna try to sell him to make my at least 110k back, 105 or however much he's going for. He's going up. Let's see where are you, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, this Jimmy Graham card is very good on my full Seahawks team team. And I think he's still good on my non Seahawks team team for the simple fact that he got a very good route running and everything. So this card is going for 118k. We're gonna put him up for 115 so we can make our coins back. Uh, we lost 30k, but I did buy him when the promo first came out on Friday, I think, or Thursday. Um, he been on the team for a while. We made a couple good, uh, good, good coin make with him. Played a couple games with him, so we can say we got our 30k worth. Uh, for us to still be able to get 100k back is pretty good. So we're gonna put them up for 115, right? That's what I said. So boom, now we put Jimmy Graham up. And guess what I do, guys? I have a fantasy pack. Boom, you're gonna go to the fantasy pack. And you're gonna pick them from the item binder. See, the only problem that I have, once I get my free Jimmy Graham, the other ones, I don't really know what to do with it. Boom, right here. We're going to pick Jimmy Graham. And we're going to, oh, we're going to pick Jimmy Graham, put him in the team, and then we're going to come back to the second one. As you can see, he's so immediately. And we make a quick 100K right there. And that's how you turn that into profit, guys. Okay, we come on, and we put them back on the lineup. So if you if you got those free packs, if you have any eighty seven in your lineup, this is what you should be doing. Don't save the pack thinking, oh yeah, it's not gonna agree. There's no second part to this game, uh, to this promo. Just go ahead and get the play that you need. Put them on your team. If you can replace somebody else, you replace somebody else. Boom, Jimmy Graham is back. He like he never left. Now, we have a second one, guys. The problem that I'm having with this second one right here um, is that I don't really know who to pick because I already got my Jimmy Graham. I got everything. Um, you could go with an 84 and maybe get 30K for it. But I still feel like that's not enough value to get uh, 84. Uh, when, the, when the 87, you could definitely put somebody in. in the, uh, you can definitely put somebody. You could definitely put somebody that's on your team on this stuff. Um, let's go back and check out the 84. The person I was looking at getting was, um, what's his name? I was thinking about getting Marcus Peters and selling one of the DBs that I have. Uh, where is it? I'm going to go to Marcus. A cornerback. 
So what I was doing is we did get this uh, Christian Gonzalez with the 87 speed. Um, and right now we're running a 25 out of 25 skill off steam team. I don't think we need this 87 Richard Sherman with this very low speed and low low cell. Um, so what I was thinking about doing is I'll probably thinking about uh, getting rid of this dude right here. Right now he got a 90 speed. But I, I do find that his um his height has become a factor um to a lot of problems been happening in the game. So I'm not really I don't really know how to feel about this card. Um so that's why I'm kinda stand I'm kinda like, and do I really wanna keep this guy on the team or do I wanna get rid of him, get my coins back, maybe buy him when he's a lot cheaper to just to be a depth for my team. So that's why I was thinking about going to Marcus Peters. And other than that, there's really nobody else that catch my eye. Um, uh, let's go to QBs. Let's go to off. No, let's go to all. And then we're gonna see uh what the 84s are going for. If you need, I think it should be going off like 30k. I'm sure. Um, the 84s are going for 33k, guys. Um, if you need 33k, I suggest you pick the 84. But if you want something more exciting. Maybe you come in here and you try to get and you try to get 87. But my but for me starting off is one thing I can say is replace a play that you already have and you can make some coins off of. Um if there was an office alignment here, I would definitely pick an office alignment. D tackles, we don't really need D tackles. We do have plenty. And we do we are looking forward to putting D tackles with inside stuff in our lineup. So we don't really need uh, this one because this guy, this dude right here does not get inside stuff. Okay, guys. So this dude does not get inside stuff. So he can't play for us. So that's why I'm not picking him. Um, uh, Kirk Cousin got the tour release and he does not get Gunslinger. So he's not my ideal type of QB. And plus he got 70 speed, guys. I need mobility. I need to be able to get out of the pocket and get out and run and get out and dodge the pressure sometimes. So having Crick Cousin on my team is not bad. So that's why I, that's why I narrowed down to two choices. Um, and also we have uh, Shaquille Leonard here. Um, I think if if you don't have anybody to rush for you, he's he's a solid option. But he got 86 speed and 83 XL, which is bad. In my opinion, 86 speed with 83 XL is basically an 83 speed dude because he's not gonna get to a top speed very fast. So he's done for. Um, and for, and also he got a 55. Uh, power move, dude. Come on. So that's one reason I don't want him on my team. So the best way to do with these packs is replace plays that you can get, you can sell, and you can hang on to. You can put him back at the second lowest. The reason why I want Marcus Speeders is he got 88 speed with 84 excel, which is not bad. Um, the 88 speed is definitely good. We can have him in the slot and play man-to-man -man coverage because he got a 90 overall man-to-man -man coverage, guys. Um, and he also played for a lot of different varieties of team that would also play a part into us picking him But I'm looking at this guys on uh, the same thing. I just said about Lene. He can have 88 speed by way 84 excel He basically got an 84 speed <laughs> like I'm saying this dude's gonna be dirt slow But I still want him on the team for the simple fact that I'm trying to get rid of the DB that I have guys uh, That DB is not good and I want, I want I want him out of my sight so that's why I kind of want to come in here and, and and keep him in the game and replace my DB. That's going to give me almost 200 to 230K back. Um, that's why I'm going to pick Marcus Peters. Uh, maybe Marcus Peters can hold me over to when, whenever the next player comes out. Um, and if we don't need Marcus Peters, we can always quick sell him and get rid of him. We don't have to hang on to Marcus Peters forever, guys. Um, so that is going to be my choice for my players that I'm going to pick. And that's how you can get the two free ones. And for the for the Derrick Henry guys, uh, let me go ahead and pick my guy before. All right. Okay, Tyler Board is the solid option too if you need receivers. But you get the ready the, the Randy Moss, and what you guys should be at level twenty. The Randy Moss got eighty seven speed once you once you get him, once you get the second token. You also have George Pickett, and you probably got a lot of the. That good Randy Moss that I'm talking about. Even though he's better at catching the traffic, straight catching all that good stuff, I still think Randy Moss for the name of Randy Moss, he's gonna be better. Um, you got uh, players like uh, Judge Pickett. I think is better than him, which he's a free player. 
Um, you also can get yourself Devin Hester or even uh, this Victor Cruz right here. This Victor Cruz is also not a bad card, guys. 87 speed. Um, get all the same thing. So I think, and then you get into, you also have this Brennan Cooks with also 87 speed, guys. So really, this card is not really good to pick a receiver right here. Um, so in my opinion, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up, pick up this uh, this dude right here. Maybe he hold me to the next, to the next uh, DB come out. But I'm definitely gonna pick him up. Sell the other, the other 89 or 89 overall team of the week, dude. Get my 200k back and wait till maybe when he gets down to 140, and then we'll keep him and put him on the team. And that's how we're gonna have to rock it, man. And that's how you get the players, the free ones. And for the Derrick Henry guys, if you guys have a lot of problem with it. Um, but the deck Henry is the way you get the first two tokens, guys, is by coming through here and doing the challenges. Once you complete the sword challenges, guys, you're going to get yourself two free tokens. Uh, I think you have fixed it to where you can get that extra, um, that extra token. Now, uh, before it was glitch, so now that you waited a couple times, now you have to become the lucky one. So now he had two other grip tokens, which is right here. And the next one, guys, it's really messed up the way Ia did it. It makes you have to complete a complete a set to get the last one, um, which is this, which is uh, complete a champion set, and you get uh, you'll get there, Henry. Um, I had did this as soon as it came out, because as soon as it came out, it's gonna be the highest point of how much they're gonna cost, and that's gonna be the the work, the best time for you to get your pro, not to lose too much coin. So. Um, that is how you get the, the Derek Henry to 89.4. If you guys have not liked, comment, subscribe to the channel. My guy out. Peace.